Hey you're right guys, Trey from Joey and today we are watching right into episode 3 of a series of unfortunate events, season 1. A lot of you kind of did tell me that after episode 2 is where it really starts to pick up uh, because I found episode 1 and 2 like good but I haven't found them to be amazing, as amazing as I kind of hoped they would be. Uh, but like, like I said, a lot of people just kind of reply, uh, commented in the YouTube comments saying that in episode from episode 3 it gets really good so I'm excited to kind of see what this book is about. Well. What happens in this book, should I say? And yeah, thanks for all the support on uh, Series Unfortunate Events so far. It's been a lot of fun to do. Uh, we're already a quarter of the way through, which is weird. So if you enjoyed, then please like. If you want to do, remember to subscribe. All my social media stuff should be here, as well as the Patreon, which I'll leave a link to down in the comment section if you are interested in that. But yeah, let's do this. No reason for you to make yourself as miserable and melancholy as I am. <laughs> if I were you, I would look away. I don't want to be miserable for a bit, mate. Go for it. Michael. Well, you can call him Dr. Montgomery, unless, of course, he asks you to call him by his first name, in which case you'll call him Montgomery. His name is Montgomery Montgomery? Yes, yes. But, but I'm sure he's very sensitive. <laughs> what? Don't, don't ridicule him. Ridicule nice him. door, though. You know what ridicule means. <coughs> I can still smell that ginger. Oh, can we not do the coffin? Please. Hello, hello. Here he is. Angel films. What is your favorite movie? Um, Dawn Patrol. The 1938 version. It was unusual for many snakes. Perhaps Sonny would prefer a raw carrot. Because everyone has just a raw carrot in their pocket. <laughs> Though legally he's correct about the fortune. I don't give a fig about the Baudelaire fortune, Mr. Poe. What with my salary from the Hopatological. You will be a bit paranoid after the live with Olaf for like. What was it, about two days? Resignation just yesterday morning. Quite surprising, really. Well, this house no is what, mad. Who needs an assistant when I have three charming Baudelaire Bambini? Such good like design for the world and Bambini. stuff. Bambini. I'll give him it's that. Italian. This is the reptile room. The Filthy reptile room. Here we go. Oh here me. Is the lizard wing. I just want to look at this and shit. Here is a winged lizard. I'm sure if you wanted to get him, you could just smash yeah. through the window though. See his yellow striped Yo, belly. Yo, what the fuck? I discovered him. Here he is, the man the myth the legend. What is it called? What hero? The incredibly deadly viper. There we go. Over the bit on the film where he jumps out, it proper made me jump. A cabinet full of venom samples from some of the most venomous snakes known to man. And yeah, that'll be downfall. I love his beard. Can we appreciate how sassy his beard is? <laughs> Whatever the hell it is, but. Fair play to you, mate, you pull it off. Any things that you're going to see that you've Why is he dressed like Indiana Jones? <laughs> it's a mark of villainy. Monty cannot be. I'd love to have a maze. If I could have one thing. He seems too nice. It would be a maze. Things aren't always as they seem. Something strange is going on here. Maybe a few other things, but a maze will be up there. We'll not let you in this house. Oh shit. Oh, I just imagine. Nah, knock him well, out. I see you children haven't changed a bit. Pilot, you are obviously as stubborn as ever. Klaus, you're still wearing those Why's idiotic he got glasses that? from reading too many books. <laughs> no, not the telescope thingy. Oh god. Oh good man. Not big Jesus. You're gonna throw your knife at kid's head? Oh my. <laughs> this guy. Maybe they thought, just maybe, they could have saved Monty's life. Wait, does Monty die? No, no. no. Mm, this is not just going to stab him. <laughs> Can't run off on the back. Oh, dear. Come on, Montgomery. Knock him out. There's nothing to be worried about. Oh yes, I see now. Class acting right there. We were to be just, look, come on, we got this. Sonny will mess it up. Look at the snake just on the wall. I could not sit in that room for that. that. I got all my shopping done. You ain't dying till I the second part of Reptile Room, surely. There should even be enough for Stefano. I was a sad guy. Is it book? I think it's book three, where it's like the house on the edge of the cliff. I seem to have been very careless with the heavy glass reading lamp really my bedroom that fell out right when you were walking under it 
totally understandable. It, it, this is the point where you realise, okay, this guy's uh, <laughs> insane. Let's arrest him. <laughs> Could have been easily avoided. How much more convenient to consume entertainment from the comfort of your own home. <laughs> what? The guy's still trying to pretend he's this. What? Stefano? Everyone knows who he actually is. Louder. Oh, I love this song. <laughs> Zombies in the snow, men in beige. Great choice there, I guess. He's gonna try and like poison the popcorn the or some place. shit. That's what my mother always With says. Who do you think taught it to me? You know, kids, I oh, Montgomery, please don't die. Change the ways. I got the popcorn. Oh. Yeah. This one is for me, and this one is for the rest of you. <laughs> oh, cheers. Oh, Your generosity is noted, Stefano. <laughs> I'm watching the movie! All right, woman. Yeah. Where's your conscience? Close. Where's your sense of tradition? Haven't we seen that actress before? Uh, oh yeah, that's the spy woman. Oh, this is a... Hello, Monty. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Danger, take the children. No, laugh. Turn away. No! No, no, no. Just go, just go that way. Is it better to go this way? No, no, just go that way. Oh my god, he annoys me so much. So, the film Jim Carrey's made me laugh. This guy annoys the hell out of me. But he's meant to, so I thought. Keep an eye on us. We're too young to be left in a theater alone. Down in front. That woman. Like the films are entertaining. What, what, what's going on? Always changed it, aren't they? So you can read it again. Your poor mother's tutu. Hmm. We've all got. Seen this part. Peru. Passage to Peru. Good luck. Good luck. Like every single one. Well, that was a narrow escape. Who I'm are these two? Astonishing acrobatics. I can walk. Better than I can walk. Someone didn't mention they were they were credited as the parents in the credits, but I, I reckon the show's just doing it on purpose. I don't know. Or this is just the past. Maybe. I don't know. Three helpless children all alone in the world. Whatever shall we do next? Unlucky me. Monty, you're here. Hello, children. It's been a long night. Look how pissed off he is. We have a very busy day tomorrow. Did you enjoy the movie? It was unusual. Oh, come on, kid. He tries, bit, so, he tries me out sometimes. What they're saying. I hope he's telling Carol off that his plot is foiled and he's done for. You're done for. You yeah, pretty much. He's <laughs> he's gonna get on that. It's the sadness of it. Or if it was the final episode, I'd say I'd be like, okay, he might get away with it. Sweet dreams. And tomorrow, Peru. It's got snakes on the wallpaper. Door. Tomorrow, Peru. Is he gonna die at the end of this episode? How long's he got left? Like two minutes, so he could die now. Yeah, I feel like he is. I don't want to see him go. Like, I know it's coming. It's one of those things where, you, you know, when you know it's coming, but you kind of hope it doesn't. <laughs> there we go, people. That is episode three of a series of unfortunate events. And again, another good episode, not uh, groundbreaking or anything like that. Uh, but I don't know if it's going for that anyway. It's just a fun show to watch. Some of the comedy, most of the comedy even, does hit a uh, majority of the time, which I'm glad about because it needed that to work for it, I think, and it does do that. Carl Olaf, like I said, he really does end up annoying me this more than he did in the film. Like, in the film, I just found him hilarious, so... Um, but yeah, they've done a good job. With, that means they've done a good job of him either, so I can't, like, fault it for that. Uh, Montgomery's dead now. I'm assuming that's his death anyway. They wouldn't show it because it's a kid's show, obviously, so... Uh, probably feeling like a high 6 for that episode, just under a 7, so probably like a 6.8. Uh, it was okay, I'm interested to see what happens in the next episode. I think they chose a really good actor for the uh, Montgomery guy, but again, there's just... 
I don't know, I don't know if it's going to still pick up later, but there's still something missing for me, I don't know what it is. Uh, but I am enjoying it, that doesn't mean I'm not enjoying it, because I've given sixes to shows that I've, like, 3% I gave low range to, but I still really enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, I don't know, there's something missing, but we are only on episode 3, so I'm not going to fault it too partially. So yeah, I'll go 6.8 out of 10 for this episode, let me know what you thought of it down below, leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you are new. All social media and Patreon, and the Patreon page will be linked down below as well, if you're interested in that stuff. But yeah, I'll try and have episode 4 up soon, Reptile Room Part 2. Until then, peace.